Well, hello, hello, everybody. This is Ron Legrand and Ted Thomas again for the last of our four video broadcast on tax liens and tax deed certificates. And I'll tell you what, he even got me excited on the last one. And that ain't easy to get me excited, I'll tell you right now. Uh, in fact, when we talked about South Carolina on that last one, I had no clue. I had no clue. Let's just do a quick recap on what you said about South Carolina. Okay, folks, if you didn't know about South Carolina, it's kind of kind of a hidden example, okay? But with the tax lien and deed business, this is a business of abundance. So I can kind of go on with these crazy things a lot, a lot. But in South Carolina, if you raise your hand at the auction or you do it online, you can buy a certificate. That means you paid someone else's taxes. All right, now, if those people don't come in and pay their taxes, what the local county is going to do is they're going to say, slap their hand and say, you lost your property, buddy, and they're going to send you the deed to the property. Now, so that's there, is no, there is no tax example, deed sale. <laughs> but, that, but that's what's going to no, happen. And so in so other words, nobody can even bid the property up. They don't have to. You've got it. You get it. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm going to South Carolina. Exactly. Now, <laughs> okay. let's talk about some of the other usual things. Now, everybody wants to go to a different place. Now, some people yeah. say to me, well, Ted, why would I buy a tax certificate in Phoenix, Arizona, and earn 16% when I could go to Texas and earn 25%? Okay, so let's kind of do some comparison. You can see this is kind of wild. So what happens in, in Arizona, they sell you the certificate, and they're going to sell certificates two years after that, the second year and the third year. So you want to buy both of those. You always want to keep paying the taxes. Then if those people don't pay the tax, you just do a foreclosure, and you take over the house with no mortgage. There's no mortgage on these properties. Okay, so that's a nice deal. But now let's go to Texas, we'll talk about another. I'm gonna teach all this in the class, so I'm just gonna give you some hints of what I teach. So in Texas, now remember, I'm condensing everything because we only got a few minutes. All right, in Texas, you raise your hand like this and you buy an actual deed to the property. Now you have a deed, it says your name on it. In other words, the, the guy that lost his property and then comes right away and you have the deed, but you can't take the property over. It's called a redeemable deed, but you can, you have to wait 180 days. So think about this, day one, all the way to 180 days. But any day they come in and pay, now listen close, any day they come in and pay, they have to give you back all your money. I said you get back all your money plus 25%, 25%. Now, the average person is gonna come in and pay the tax. 97% of the people come in and pay. If they come in in five days, not 180, they come in in five days, you still get 25%. Now that's called a penalty return. Now everybody's teaching tax lien certificate and talking about interest rate. There's no interest rate. It's 25% on day one if they pay, and it's, if they don't pay you on day 180, you get the property. How about well, that? Well, even if, even if they do pay you on day 180, that's a 50% annual rate of return the way I calculate it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's so a great, a great thing for your IRA. powerful, powerful yeah. rate of return. Now you yeah. go to a place like Indiana. Now I can do this all day long, so let me do it. But we'll teach you in the class. So you want to go to Indiana. Okay, now they're going to have thousands of these tax certificates. Now when I say thousands, I can I will show you in the class newspapers this thick. You can see that in the newspaper, or I'll show you the list online. With, with Like in Jacksonville, they'll have 25,000 certificates available. You, you don't have time to go through the newspapers. You've got to do it online. So we'll teach you how to do that. All right, so here, Indiana. Bye. They will have thousands of certificates. I mean, literally thousands yeah. of these. All right, now, you pick one, you buy it, and then you go home and you pray. You pray that they don't pay. So <laughs> on the first six months, you earn 10%. <laughs> but in the second six months, you earn 15%. It goes up. It's going up. So mm. figure out your combined rate of return. It's a powerful place to buy. So yeah. anytime you buy a tax certificate, so when I tell people to buy, now this is contrarian, when I'm going to buy tax certificates, I only go to the country club areas. You don't want to buy in the ghetto, you buy in the country club, because if the people don't pay, you get the property without a mortgage. Now I know you don't believe that, but it's in the statute in every single county and every single state. So there's 3,000 counties, 50 states, all of them, you get the property. So whenever you buy a tax certificate, Hold on a minute. Pray. To be fair, the mortgage company is usually going to pay those taxes before that happens, but I'm seeing so many times where they just don't do it or forget to do it or didn't know about it or wasn't notified or went in the wrong place or whatever. So well, let's be politically correct, but the yeah. facts are our banks will run. 
we want to say yes. But you know what? When the county gives notice, they give a registered letter. If you haven't seen one of those, it's got a little green card on it, and they send it out to the people that didn't pay. Well, the bank president doesn't get that letter. The girl that's an intern gets it, and she opens it up, well, I don't know what to do that, so she stuffs it in her drawer. Sometimes yeah. the drawer will be stacked this full of those letters, people going to foreclosure, especially with us going through a crisis like we are. So those yeah. properties are going to come up for tax sale. So there's the opportunity. So the, the opportunity is so big. Now, let me just do one more thing, because we'll run out of time, and I'm talking too much. I want to make sure I answer your questions. Folks, when the tax auctions take place, if nobody bids, the properties show up on another list, and nobody else will teach you about that other list, but anybody that's an auction buyer will tell you, know about the other list. Because a lot of people raise their hand at the auction, but they don't go back and pay. And when they don't go pay, there's leftovers. I'm gonna show you how to buy leftovers, except they don't call them leftovers, they call them surplus lands. They call them strike-off lists. They call them forfeited lands. And I'll show you people making six-figure incomes in this class doing just what I'm talking about right now. Six huh. figures, think about that. Wow, okay. Um, how on earth, I think you've got a database of these things that we can get into a database of them. Nationwide, oh, I'm gonna explain uh, that at the end, I, right? I'm gonna take all you people, don't tune out when Ron and I finish, I'm gonna have my tech guy come in and I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna show you my database, which I'll show you how to use. And you can go, I can access from your computer, anywhere you get an internet connection, I can access every property in the United States and we can, we can not only do that, we can access what it looks like, what the tax auction is, and I got every single auction list so you know ahead of time, and you can do all of this purchasing from home. Now I got a guy in Saskatchewan, Canada, Regina, Saskatchewan, spell it an R, Regina, Saskatchewan, he's buying in Riverside, and I told him to buy what Ron teaches, I, buy those residential lots. That's a good place to start. Prices are low. You have to worry about termites, tenants, trash. Okay, the prices are low at auction because nobody knows what to do. Okay, then you can sell it high. So my whole system is buy it low, sell it low. No, no, I didn't say high. I said buy it low, sell it low. Get the money and go on and do the next one. There is a, this is such an abundant business. I can go to Jacksonville when the auction's all over, show you how to make money when the auction's finished because there's always so much left over. It's a business of abundance, and it has been for the 25 years I've been in the business. Always leftovers. Yeah, and always good. You, can't, you cannot do one of these things without getting a good rate of return, I guess, unless nobody pays the taxes and yeah. nobody wants to buy it at the deed sale, which is why you ought to do the right homework first. Exactly. Well, the key to this business is learning from someone that's a mentor or a coach. I'm serious now. A mentor yeah. and a coach, to guide you along that first year, you ought to be able to make at least a couple of $25,000 deals. My minimum is you can't make 25 grand on it, screw it. It's, don't even bother with it, okay? But if you'll do this right and follow the classroom stuff that we give you, you'll be making six-figure income. You can do it for the rest of your life and nobody knows what you're doing. It's quiet, it's easy, and you don't have to have a big staff. You just and do this with one person. One and it's person. about as home-based as you can get. Yep, exactly. Um, you mentioned California, what about California? Okay, here's the deal in California. In California, it's hard for you to believe this, but the, Cal the state is so liberal, they will let the taxes go as much as five years before they send the notice and say, we're gonna take the property. Now, when they do take the property, I don't have one here in front of me now, but when they do take the property, they're gonna end up with thousands of properties. Now, let me give you an example. I'm just gonna use San Bernardino County, and then I'll use Los Angeles County. In San Bernardino County, that's the biggest county in the world, Okay, it's bigger than the country of Switzerland. The sheriff uses airplanes to go around the county. All right, now this county, and all the years I've been doing this, I've never seen less than 3,000 properties at tax auction. Never less. Now here's what they do. They have an auction. Ted told you this, nobody else is gonna tell you. They just published it last month. They have an auction, and when the auction takes place, if they don't sell a property, they're gonna have a re-auction within 30 days, you won't believe me, California property for $100. Hmm. No mortgage. Hmm. Well, um, it feels like I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out what to do best or first. You're gonna help me with that? Yes, yes, yeah, it's just gonna take. Listen, we show you first the tax liens, that's for the, 
flip. If you're worried about this, get in. Let's teach you tax certificates. All right, yeah. this predictable, it's certain and secure. Then if you got one drop, just one drop of entrepreneurial blood in your vein, we can teach you to buy these properties. So Ted, these auctions are all through the year throughout the states. Yeah. And some states have more than one auction a year. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. So literally you can attend these things just about any time. Right. So, yeah, so well, like we already know that in December, all the auctions around Seattle take place, you know, it's raining and doing whatever. And they have auctions mm -hmm. in Tacoma, they have in Sohomish County, Pierce County, King County. And then we know during the summer months that the Northeast is going to be very busy. For example, we're in May now, so you could set, now they've canceled them all for, for April, but New York is selling properties, uh, uh, Rhode Island selling property, Connecticut, those states have, and they have a lot of property. New York, New York probably has between two and 3,000 properties every year go to auction, so it's, it's massive. So it got, you can kind of move, so you can do it any time of year. The beauty of that is you make a deal now, you buy it, you do whatever you're gonna do, get it sold, and then you can go to another. So you can, you can go to auction anywhere you want from your living room or from your bedroom or from your kitchen. Okay, back, if I don't have money, I can put this on my credit card, couldn't I? I'm gonna teach him a class, you know, my, I've got one guy that works with me, he's gonna teach in this class, you, you guys won't believe this, but, he, he came to me, he learned how to do it 10 years ago. Now in 10 years, he's bought 60 properties. He buys about, he buys about six a year. He has never given him money. He always has done it with a credit card. Now listen to this, this guy's a real maverick. He doesn't, he, if a broker comes and wants to do something, he'll do it. He puts a sign up and he said, contract for sale. So he writes up his own contract like this, okay? Never uses a broker, so he, he buys without anybody, and he sells without anybody. Obviously, if a broker comes, we, we never chase a broker away. That wouldn't be fair. But, you know, they, they if they want to buy it, they'll do it. But he does the financing. Now, he has some properties he collects the money on. He takes 10-year financing. So he, he's got money rolling in all the He never has to go to work. But he's also getting a down payment to cover what he paid for the whole thing. Isn't he? Oh, I left, I left the important part out. That's right. So he, <laughs> yeah. he, he, buys, he, he buys it for 10 cents on the dollar. He gets yeah. that back, so he's got no risk. Uh, you're right. Yeah. I, I left the important part out. So my brain. Yeah. So he's so he's financing air. <laughs> That's exactly right. He is he is he's making money out of air. That's absolutely right. And I teach that in the class, by the way. I teach him how to yeah. do it, make money out of air. All right. Well, I want you to tell him about your three day event coming up here. But before you do, I got one very important question. All right. Tell me where I get a shirt that looks like that. <laughs> Oh, you can get a shirt like that. Look at that. Is that good? All right. Okay, so, so all you guys want to know about it, um, there's a, 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 a shirt designer. Uh, his name is Robert Graham. Okay. Oh, I know Robert Graham. I'm going to tell you, these shirts are always made for big men. I'm not big. I'm six foot. Uh, so I have to have them tailored and whatever so that they fit me. But I get more comments. I used to spend 3000 bucks for a suit. And I would spend 300 bucks for a tie. And people would say, nice tie. And that was it. These shirts, no matter where I go, I get stopped in the grocery store. Women will come up and say, I'm not stalking you, but where did you get that shirt? <laughs> so I always tell everybody that they've got good taste. I, they've yeah. got good taste. And these are my Walmart specials because they, started, it. For, they started 400 bucks. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I got a few of those as well, long sleeve. I've never seen one like that on the list. Yeah, thank you. Let me button it up and say, look, this month, this is why we're talking about all this. I'm going to do a three-day, it's absolutely free, so you got to get signed up for it, three-day event, and it's going to be virtual. It's going to be on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three full days, and I would tell you right now, I'm going to fill your head all the way up with brand new information, even though this has been around for 200 years. So it's taken me 25 years to learn it, to do it, everything perfectly myself. And I'm going to pass all that on to you so you don't make mistakes. So you need to get yourself signed up for that. Now, when I finish with Ron, don't click off because I'm going to show you a, an online system that nobody in the world has. I don't care if they come and try and copy it if they want because they don't have classes to go with it. And the online class will not only show you how to use it, but I'm going to show you in three minutes when we finish how to do it. And then in the class, we'll teach you how to do it, how to access the property, in Rhode Island or California or Texas and teach you how to sell it to. Now our strength is teaching people. We're educators, we've been doing that for a long time. 
and we're going to teach you about selling. And it's easy to sell in my business because we buy it low and we yeah. sell it low. You I, want to sell your properties to those fixer upper guys. So buy it low, well, sell well, it maybe, low. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Everybody don't have to resell it as fast as they get it. So I'm going to right. I'm gonna disagree with you on that one. Okay. A check like I need oxygen, I'm going to sell it and get the money. But if it's a decent property. I mean, I'm going to develop, I'm going to get the most money I can out of it. And yeah. I'm not selling it right now because for what we're paying for these things, I can get a down payment from a lease option tenant buyer. This is more than what I'm paying for the property in many cases. So, you know, why sell a golden goose is what I always teach. But, I keep but as you know, when the market's bad, we do rent to owns and the broker say, oh, I can't sell it. It's too much money. So we do a rent to own and we'll get 20 or 30 cent premium, 20 or 30 percent premium price because of the rent to own. And some of those people are so happy to get a nice house. Boy, they sure. feel really good. Yeah. It's a big public service. You're setting them up so that they can fix whatever's broke to qualify for a loan sometime in the future. Exactly. You know what you didn't tell these folks is this three day event that uh, we are giving away usually costs 2,500 bucks. So, Oh my goodness. Well, you are but, welcome. <laughs> but folks, I want you to show up. Normally it would be $2,500 to do this. Ron and I have been uh, engaged as, a, as, as associates for over, over 20 years. And I said, Ron, I think this will really go for your list. And he, he's, he stepped right up. He said, Ted, we were looking for you. So here we are. You're going to be the beneficiary of our relationship of yeah. 25 years. And by the and way, it's been, it's Pardon really me? been over 30, Ted. I used to have black hair and I was skinny. Yeah. Oh my yeah, me God. Me too. Me too. Yeah, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll look forward to seeing you there. It'll be right below me when I finish, but I'm also going to give you a little class and so you can see how it's done online as Ron and I finish. So hang in there, look at the dates first, mark them down, and then hang in for that little class. It'll only take about two or three yeah. minutes, but you, I'm the only one that has it. If you become one of my clients, I'll tell you right now, you'll have a competitive advantage over anybody in the United States. I don't care what anybody tells you, yeah. we do it and you'll be able to do it. And I'll be the first to tell you, you are the best in the world with what you do. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> also thank have you. the prettiest shirts. Sure. Well, I get qualified. Right. Well, I'll see you guys in a couple of days and uh, I'll turn it over to you, sir. Thank you for okay. taking the time to share with us. Okay. Don't forget 27, 28, and 29. I'll see you there. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this online in just a minute. Bye. This is called our interactive map. Uh, it's pretty cool. So what you can do is hover your mouse over any state on the map and you're going to notice a little box pop up. So inside that box, it's going to tell you whether that state you're hovering over has tax liens, tax lien certificates, or tax defaulted properties. Let's go down here and I'll show you how to find an upcoming auction. So if we just scroll down, now you've noticed all these columns. This is our auction calendar. And again, you're, if you're wondering what the color coding is, it's the same as the interactive map. So blue are going to be tax deed auctions, green are tax lien auctions and then red are redeemable deed auctions.